Um, hi, we are still busy with the exemplar paper question. This second exemplar paper for um, for this week. We're in week thirty-one, lesson four, and uh, yesterday we did um, the beginning of two question two, two point one to two point four. Um, it is exemplar two. And today we're going to do 2.5 and 2.6. Um, we're using the municipal rates, uh, but the yesterday it was using this an extra A, but today we're going to step away from an extra A. Um, I think that rhymes. And then we're just going to look at different parts. Okay, so question 2.5. Water consumption in Musunduzi municipality is charged as followed. The first 6,2 kiloliters is charged at a tariff of 5,24 rands per kiloliter. The rest of the water is charged at a tariff of 10,94 rand per kiloliter. Suppose you know the amount of water used at the houses of in a particular month. Write down an equation that can be used to calculate the amount that they will be charged for water. Okay, so it's this, this 6,20 kiloliters times 5 rand 20, uh, 42, but also then it is the total amount of water minus 6,2 rand per kiloliter, so it's let's say 20 minus 6,2 times 10 rand 94 because for the second amount of water you are not going to uh, pay f uh, you you pay 10 rand 94 but you don't pay again for the 6 uh, 6,20 oh, kiloliters so let's quickly look at the answer it is the 6,20 oh, times 5,42 this is the amount that's the kiloliters then the amount used minus 6,2 times 10.94 right the equation in 5.21 can be represented graphically two graphs are given below graph A or B which is better to represent that equation now because we have we don't pay a lot of money we only pay 5.20.42 and then suddenly we jump to almost double that 10.94 the graph looks like this we don't pay a lot and then suddenly the rate increase so it is this five uh, uh, graph A so it is graph A because the rate is first not so high and then suddenly the rate it increased a lot increases a lot okay so let's say graph A the graph shows that the tariff increase when more water is used Right, well, that's a great explanation. Mine is correct too, coincidentally. The table below shows electricity consumption of the household for the past m 12 months. So this is electricity consumption. Calculate the mean electricity consumption per month for this household. So mean, remember that's with statistics. We add all the electricity together, plus all of them together, divided by 12. So here they plus everything together, divide by 12, so it's 9,196, divide by 12, and that is 765,5 kilowatt hour. Give two reasons why the electricity consumption was highest in June. Um, it can be because June is during the holidays and when the children are home they consume a lot of electricity by running the television and taking long baths and uh, listening to music, charging their phones, playing computer games and it can be because it's the coldest month so um, you would use the heaters more you would use more hot water and the other reason why in June um, it if it's cold you cook more food that consumes a lot of electricity so you sp um, use more electricity for your stove right so let's see what it says during the school holidays in June more people could be at home use electricity and June is a winter month and a family could be using electricity to keep themselves warm 
Right, but any good reason is good. And then the last question, determine the probability that the electricity consumption in the table above is less than 710 kilowatt hour. Right, so there is one time that it was less. So 1 out of 12 is the probability that you will get less than 710. Right, you are welcome to complete this um, paper. It is a quite a good paper and because marks are allocated you really then know how to allocate marks and how to to use uh, or, or to properly answer and to expand your questions. Thank you very much and good luck with the assessment.